Drainage system. Drainage system refers to all piping system that conveys sewage, storm water, and liquid wastes to point of disposal. House drainage system do not include the main public sewers, treatment, and disposal plants. Objective of drainage system. Maintain healthy conditions in a building. To avoid the entry of foul gases from the sewer or septic tanks. To facilitate the removal of foul matter. To collect waste matter systematically. 1. Storm drainage system, carries rainwater, surface water, cooling water and similar wastes. 2. Sanitary drainage system carries sewage, which is liquid and solid matter, including fecal matter and waste collected from wash basin and kitchen sink. 3. Combined drainage system carries both storm water and sewage. This type can be found in some older systems. Principles of House Drainage System House drainage should be preferably laid by side of the building to facilitate easy repair and better maintenance. House sewer joints should be leak-proof, since leakage create odor problems, infiltrate to ground water. The sewage or solids should flow under the force of gravity. House sewer should always be straight. Entire system should be well ventilated from start to end. How sewer should be connected to manhole such that the invert level is sufficiently higher to avoid backflow of sewage in house sewer. Wherever there is change in direction of sewer line in the premises, provide inspection chamber at the junction. Siphonage action can never be permitted and therefore adequately ventilation systems should be installed. Terminology Wastewater is used water and it has physical, chemical, and biological impurities in it. Sewage, the wastewater coming from water closet and containing human excreta is known as sewage. Solage, the wastewater coming from bathrooms and kitchens which does not contain fecal matter is known as solage. Sewer, pipe carrying sewage or wastewater is called sewer. Soil pipe, pipe carrying sewage from water closet. Vent pipe, a vertical pipe that provides circulation of air to and from the drainage system. Vent pipes are the extension of soil and waste pipes through the roof and a system of pipes largely paralleling the drainage system for the admission of air and discharge of gases. Stack, is a general term used for any vertical line of soil, waste, or vent piping. Clean out, an access opening used to clean out and remove blockage from the pipe. Waste pipe. Pipe carrying solage from bathrooms, kitchen, sinks, wash basins. Waste pipe convey discharge of only gray water. Sewerage system, a system of sewers of different types and sizes that collect waste water from the town and carrying it to the wastewater treatment plant. Storm sewer, a sewer pipe that carries storm water excluding sewage. Building sewer, part of the drainage system from the building to the public private or individual sewer disposal system. Branch, any part of the piping system other than the main riser or stack. Manhole, these are reinforced concrete, or masonry chambers constructed at suitable intervals along sewer lines. Anti-sippinage pipe, is the pipe which is installed to preserve the water seal in the trap throughout proper ventilation. Sewer main, a sewer pipe installed and maintained by public entity and on public property. Types of vent Individual vent A pipe installed to vent a fixture trap, that connects with the vent system above the fixture served or terminate in open air. Common or dual vent An arrangement of venting so installed that, one vent pipe serve two traps. Main vent The principal artery of the venting system to which vent branches are connected. It is also known as collecting vent line. Relief vent. A vertical vent line that provides additional circulation of air between the drainage and vent systems or, act as an auxiliary vent on specially designed systems such as yoke vent. Yoke or bypass vent. A pipe connecting upward from a soil or waste stack below the floor and below horizontal connection to an adjacent vent stack at a point above the floor and higher than the highest spill level of fixtures for preventing pressure changes in the stack. Circuit vent. A group of vent pipe which starts in front of the extreme fixture connection on a horizontal branch and connects to vent stack. Wet vent. Portion of the vent pipe through which wastewater also flows through. 
Typical waste disposal pipe sizing. Traps. Traps are U-shaped fixtures that have water seal in them. The water in the trap creates a seal that prevents sewer gas from passing from the drain pipe back into the living quarters. Traps allow the sewage or waste water to flow through while preventing backflow of foul gases into living quarters. The depth of water seal is, the vertical distance between the crown and dip of a trap. The depth of the water seal represents effectiveness of the trap. The depth of water seal varies from 25 to 75 millimeters. Trap seal must have a minimum depth of 2 inches and maximum of 4 inches. Traps are placed within 2 feet of the fixture, so that it is accessible for cleaning through the plug. Classification of traps based on shape. P-trap. Are designed to outlet through the wall. Has clean out at the bottom. S-trap. Designed to outlet through the floor. Water in trap seal can be sucked out through siphoning or from other plumbing drain. Q-trap. Are most effective traps. Are used with siphonage pipe. Classification based on use. Floor traps. Generally used to admit sewage from the floors of rooms, bathroom, kitchen. Floor traps are connected with sewage pipe. Are made of cast iron or stainless steel or galvanized covering to prevent entry of waste matter. Gully traps. Are provided at a junction of a roof drain, and other drains coming from kitchen or bathroom. Sewage shall enter through side inlet which is called back inlet. Rainwater drains from the top. Gully traps have either P or Q-shaped traps water seal arrangement. Intercepting traps. Intercepting traps are provided at junction of house sewer, and public sewer for preventing, cleanouts. Intercepting traps. Intercepting traps are provided at junction of house sewer, and public sewer for preventing entry of foul gases of municipal sewer into the house drainage system. Intercepting trap is provided in the manhole. Cleanouts. Cleanouts are elbows projecting to permit cleaning the house drain. Cleanouts are installed in the house drain beyond the last stack. It is best to include cleanouts at the foot of each waste or soil stack, and at each change of direction. House drain and house sewer. The soil and waste stacks discharge into the house drain. The house drain is then connected to the house sewer. Both the house drain and house sewer are sloped one-fourth inch per feet to the public sewer. To prevent backflow of gases, house trap is provided between house drain and house sewer. Thanks for watching.